Want to be able to build with mushrooms? Well, I'm gonna tell you how. Hello everybody, Sibling Power here, and you join me on top of this fine village church. Look at this, look at this village church. Uh, and we, uh, today, are going to be looking at a, f um, a, b a way to build with mushrooms. Um, and I know a lot of people don't actually know how to build with mushrooms, because the thing with mushrooms, you can't actually place them in highlight levels. Look, you can't do it that they can't be even placed so how do you build with them much because and you can't place them on top of each other either like that's dark enough but you can't place it on top of each other so yeah mushrooms seem pretty impossible to build with but uh, uh I'm gonna show you a way you can actually make your mushrooms grow in full light levels okay and like without the risk of mob spawning okay so to get a mushroom to grow you need to go out somewhere and you just kind of need to dig a hole. Uh, one down works, and if you want to do that, you can. No, wait, you can't. Two down works if you do this. So if you want it, you put a mushroom two down, and as you can see, the mushroom placed. You need to quickly break all of these blocks, and now you've got your mushroom. Now quickly bone meal it. And there you go. You've got yourself the mushroom is fully grown. And now this essentially this acts as a mushroom farming technique. Uh, this works on red mushrooms as well, and it works the same way. Uh, you just need to darken the hole with blocks like so, and then and then bop. Okay. And red mushrooms have a tendency because they wrap around to form this. And this is actually kind of a good thing to have because what it enables you to do is if we go ahead and block this up it enables you to actually make a mushroom house if we take what I found looks good as birch and we start to punch out the ground underneath it um, note you can't get any of these blocks back so breaking the wrong block will be absolutely detrimental like look what I did there like now I need to place a block above it because you can't actually get these blocks back like if you select it in creative mode all you have to select is mushroom so uh, yeah so uh, but the basic idea if this was one higher it would work better um, is that you can then put a door as you can see I'm in 1.8 so this does work in 1.8 uh, and then you could just take torches stick them on inside and you have effectively made a mushroom home you can go ahead and place your uh, crafting table your uh, your furnace and your bed I'm going to put the bed there da, da, da. you can sleep in the bed and and bop you just wake up in the center of the house and you can even put a chest down in here let's go ahead and grab that let's face this the right way and bop okay so there you go you've essentially made yourself a mushroom house it's a small house but it is a mushroom house and I know these mushrooms can grow higher and so you can get an even better um, look to it um, but that's the basic idea behind building uh, with the mushrooms um, let's go ahead and pull ourselves out some mushrooms sorry if I'm breathing into the mic a little bit I just kinda heard that little push um, and let's go ahead and um, do this and it works pretty much everywhere you can do this in any biome um, so it's not like this is a, a biome specific thing you don't need a mushroom biome for this because usually if you want mushrooms to grow you need to have them in a dark place with mycelium but uh, no this actually does work bone meal works on mushrooms um, um, so, yeah, why am I saying, um, saying, um, too much? Okay, well, oh, the rabbits are eating the carrots. Uh, that's not good. Um, I said, um, again. We are going to move on to a full normal world that I made, and in that world, you will be able to see, um, 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 uh, ah, you will be able to see what I have made with mushrooms and I will be right back 
Okay, just to show you what I meant by the house would look better if it was three high, there you go. Um, and yeah, that that's, that's what it would look like. I put a normal door there just to kind of work it, but yeah, that's, that's kind of what it would look like, uh, if it was, um, three high. Um, but now to show you what I've actually built with mushrooms. Dun, 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 da. Okay, so this is essentially a fully functional Minecraft house built completely out of brown mushrooms. As you can see, I accidentally broke something here. And unfortunately, I cannot replace it. Um, but yes, yeah, so what I did was I built this here. And this leads to the main, uh, what I like to call the main mushroom. And then we can go up to the sleepy shroom, where we sleep on our bed. This is the panic shroom. Uh, if at any point a mob does get into your house, you can run up here, close the door, and you're completely encased on all sides, so nothing can get you there. Um, and right over here, we have got the enchanting shroom. You come up right in between everything. And I put a chest here because, as you know, 1.8 requires lapis. So we can put lapis in that chest if you want. You can even drop onto the top of your fences to avoid having to go and open and close them again. Um, up here, we have got... I see, keep saying um. I'm not good at not saying um. Help me not say um. And right here, we've got ourselves our... Um, yeah, I said um again. And... <laughs> our furnace shroom. And this is our furnace shroom right here. So, yes. There we kind of smelt stuff. It's kind of obvious what to do. This could be like an ores chest. So, and a uh, crafting table. And right up here, storage shroom, where you store stuff. I used uh, trap chest and normal chests because they don't link together and I think it looks nice. Because otherwise you'd have to just have two a double chest on all four sides and that would look strange. Um, I said um again. So yeah, this is pretty much the fully functional Minecraft house made out of mushrooms. It can be built any way you want it to. And this has pretty much been my uh, mushroom building video. So yeah guys, sorry this is short. I forgot that yesterday was, uh, I forgot what my schedule was. So yesterday, I, I uh, was supposed to put up a video, but I didn't because I thought that was the day I would, didn't put up a video. So I'm recording this quickly so that I can record your video for tomorrow because today is not a day I usually put up videos. If you're confused on what I'm talking about, just I will leave a link to my n most recent schedule video. So, yeah. Um, and just one ad added bonus to this house specifically um, I said, um, uh, spiders cannot actually get you. Like, some people might say, oh, but the spiders will climb up the mushrooms. No, they can't climb up the mushrooms because the mushrooms have this big head on them. And spiders can't actually navigate this. So, yes, you're completely safe. This is a fully functional house. And, yeah. Alright, guys, I'm sorry it cut off there. I ran out of disk space right at the end of the video. But, uh, as I was saying, I will see everyone in the next video. A goodbye, everyone.